Okay. It looks like, John, I think you can get started. There's five attendees and it seems to be steady. All right. I'm calling to order the Arlington Select Board meeting of Tuesday, July 7th, 2020. As a preliminary matter, this is John Hurd, Select Board Chair. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Joseph Carl? Here. Diane Mahan? Affirmative. Steve DeCourcy? Yes. And Len Diggins? Yes. And staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Adam Chapdelaine? Here. Douglas Heim? Here. And Al Shimar, Board Administrators, participating remotely. Good evening. This open meeting of the Arlington Select Board is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth, given the outbreak of the novel coronavirus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the virus and reduce risk of COVID-19 illness, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed in, and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure pu public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will feature public comment. Even if members of the public do not provide comment, participants are advised that people may be listening who do not provide comment and those persons are not required to identify themselves. For this meeting, the select board is convening via Zoom as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and that and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Please also take care to adjust your screen or device name if you would like to speak in order for us to recognize speakers appropriately and develop accurate minutes it is helpful for participants to see your full first and last name when calling upon you rather than a nickname. All of the meeting materials for this meeting, except any executive session materials, are available on Novus Agenda da Dashboard. And we recommend the members in the public follow the agenda as posted on Novus unless the chair notes otherwise. We now turn to the first item on the agenda. Before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I will in introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you're not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in colloquy with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. This meeting will feature opportunities for public comment on certain agenda items. For comments on items after members have spoken, I, as the chair, will afford the public comment opportunities as follows. I will first ask members of the public who wish to speak to identify their names and addresses only. Once the chair has a list of all public commentators, I will call on each by name and afford three minutes for any comments. Please keep in mind that all participants and members of the public must be recognized by the chair before speaking. Finally, each vote for this meeting will be taken by roll call vote. All right, so the next item on our agenda under appointments is an appointment to the Board of Registrar of Voters, a term to expire on March 31st, 2022. 
And for this, I'll first turn to Attorney Heim for a brief introduction. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, as folks uh, may be aware, uh, we have a vacancy on the Board of Registrars. We also have a recount happening on July 9th, which is presided over by the Board of Registrars. The Board of Registrars uh, cannot have more than two members of any given uh, of, of the two main political parties on it. And at present, there are two Democrats on the Board of Registrars and one Republican. Accordingly, this board solicited a list as required by law of uh, nominees uh, from the town Republican committee or Republican town committee. I'm grateful to the Republican town committee for responding so quickly, developing a list of names. And I know that we have uh, two uh, of the uh, potential nominees, uh, Lucia Catano and um, Joseph Manju with us tonight. I'm particularly grateful to Sean Harrington for being responsive and helping us uh, get contact information for folks to let them know about uh, tonight's meeting. Uh, with that, I, I know that there are some other board members who have some preliminary uh, matters that they want to address the chair. Yep, so I will recognize Ms. Mahan. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to um, recuse myself from this vote since I'm not yet certified as a member of the select board. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Diggins? Yeah, same here. I mean, um, for the same reasons, I like to I like to recuse myself for the same reasons. It's going by by um, select Mahan. All right, thank you. And if you guys can just both mute your yourselves and then turn off your video as well on the Zoom. Okay, we'll do. It. Thank you. Or walk away. That's fine. All right. All right. And so, as noted, we have Ms. Catano, Mr. Manju present. The third name on the list was Judith Quimby, as submitted by the Republican Town Committee. So I will ask the town manager to promote Ms. Catano first to give a little brief introduction. Ms. Catano, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Hi, welcome. And thank you for your willingness to serve. If you could just give us a brief introduction, introduce yourself and tell us why you'd like to serve on the Board of Registrars. The main reason is that I was born in a dictatorship in Europe and voting is important to me. That was when I was invited, I could just couldn't say no. Sure, great. Thank you. And now I will turn to the two remaining members to see if they have any questions or comments for you. Um, Mr. Carl? No, no, no further questions. Thank you very much for uh, your willingness to serve. And Mr. DeCorsi? Uh, no questions either. Thank, thank you for your willingness to serve. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. Ms. Catano. We can, now we can promote Mr. Manju. Hi, Ms. Maju. Can you hear us? I'm speaking. Yep. Uh, yep, we can hear you now. If you can just give us okay. a brief introduction, just let us know why you like to serve on the Board of Registrars. Well, I'm a member of the Arlington Republican Town Committee, and I'm just interested in having <clears throat> local Republicans receive proper representation. Just that simple. Okay, thank you. And then I'll turn to Mr. DeCourcy. Any questions or comments? Uh, no questions. Thank you also for your willingness to serve. Thank you. And, and Mr. Carl, any questions or comments? No, no further questions. Uh, th thank you. Thank you for um, bringing your name forward. Thank you, Joe. Oh, Mr. Hurd, I think you're muted. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I just want to confirm that Ms. Quimby is not present in the meeting. I believe that's correct. Yep. All right. So what now we'll take a motion to open nominations. Um, Mr. Corsi? 
Yeah, th thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I, um, I'll, I'll make a motion to nominate Ms. Caetano to the, uh, to the Board of Registrars. All right. Should I be making the motion first for nominations and then make the... So the motion to start is to open the nominations. Fair enough. I, I skipped yep, the step. I, I will move to open the nominations. Second. Second. All right. So we have a motion by Mr. DeCourcy, seconded by Mr. Carl. Attorney Hein? Mr. DeCourcy? Yes. Mr. Curro? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. So an unanimous vote, or 3-0 vote, I should say. Yep. Thank you. And now, Mr. DeCourcy? Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. I, got ahead of my, uh, no I got ahead of myself. I, and I want to thank both of the, um, Ms. Caetano, Mr. Manju, for stepping forward in the Republican Committee for for um, submitting the list, as, as we said earlier, so quickly. Um, we only have one spot here, so I, I'm going to nominate Ms. Caetano uh, for, for the uh, Board of Registrar position. Thank you. Uh, I'll second the nomination. All right. So we have a motion to appoint Ms. Catano by Mr. DeCourcy, seconded by Mr. Carl. Attorney Hein. Uh, well, do we have any other nominations, Mr. Hurd? Uh, I'm not silly, but I just want to make sure we have no other nominations. Nope, no other nominations. Okay. Yep. Uh, Mr. DeCourcy? Uh, yes. Mr. Curo? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. It's a 3 0 vote. I so declare. All right. And now, do we need a motion to close nominations? No. Or we're all set? If there's only one nomination, I think you're fine. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we can invite our two colleagues back to the meeting. If Ms. Mahan and Mr. Diggins can hear us. I'll send a message to uh, Mr. Diggins. I'm here. I'm oh, here. There he is. Thanks. All right. So we'll let the minutes confirm that all five members have returned to the meeting. All right. So our next item is Citizens Open Forum. Except in unusual circumstances, any matter presented for consideration of the board shall neither be acted upon nor a decision made the night of the presentation in accordance with the policy under which the open forum was established. It should be noted that there is a three minute time limit to present a concern or request. So right now, if anyone's present for assistance open forum, you can use the raise hand feature on your Zoom application. We have one raised hand <clears throat> from Chris Loretti. All right. All right. And give a few more seconds. Is that it so far? That's it. Yep. All right. So we have one person for systems open forum tonight. Mr. Loretti, you can promote Mr. Loretti. It should be, yep, here he is. Ms. Loretti, can you hear us? Hmm. He's showing up as a panelist, but I can't unmute him. So already, are you able to unmute yourself on your Zoom app? Let me just, uh, I'll change him back to an attendee and bring him back and just maybe something happened in the transfer. Okay. Yeah, it does not seem to be showing video or um, video or sound being associated with his account. Okay. Is he, I noticed there was one phone individual logged in. So 
Uh, I can, I can, I'll, uh, let me allow that individual to speak and we'll see if it's him. Does that end with 4338? Because if it does, that's me. No. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Kiro. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. If you can just Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chris, Chris Loretti, 56 Adams Street. And uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm, I'm calling in tonight because I participated in the ARB hearing last night for 1207-1211 Mass Ave, and this is Hotel Lexington. And I'm calling to suggest to the board that it's really time to pull the plug on that project. And by that, I mean, it's time for the board to cancel the sale of the property at 1207 Mass Ave, which is owned by the town, which is part of this project. And I say that because it's clear that this proposal has insurmountable zoning issues that the ARB itself is unable to satisfy and, and really does not have the power to deal with. The applicant is looking for relief that the ARB simply doesn't have the authority to grant. And I've spoken to a number of abutters. I believe if, they, if the ARB approves the permit for that development as it is proposed, there will be an appeal. And what that means is you're gonna cause more cost to the developer, you're gonna cause more delay, and you're gonna prevent the sale of the property at 1207 Mass Ave by the town. Now, last night the developer was complaining that he was being jerked around by the ARB because he thought he was gonna get an approval that has yet to be given. I would suggest that he's being misled and jerked around by town officials who are really over promising and setting false expectations about what can be delivered by the town through the special permitting process. And as I said, it's really not something the ARB can do because of the zoning problems that it has, not least of which is the fact that hotels are not allowed on that 1207 Mass Ave site. And if the ARB approves a permit to do that, among other problems, it provides an excellent opportunity for the abutters to appeal. And I suspect they very much that they will do that. So I ask you to um, exercise your authority to cancel the sale of 1207 Mass Ave. You'll really be doing a, a favor to the developer in saving him time and money. And you'll be doing the town a favor by allowing it to proceed with the sale of that property for a use and for development that's allowed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lardy. All right. So that closes Citizens Open Forum. So we now go to traffic rules and order and other business. Agenda item number three for discussion and vote extension of local state of emergency. Attorney Hyam. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'll be brief. Uh, the town state of emergency ran through June 30th. Uh, you've got a renewal of the state of declaration of state of emergency before you. There's essentially one uh, new paragraph and some updated information about the number of cases uh, in the state uh, wide, as well as the number of cases in Arlington. It's sort of shocking to see how many of those cases uh, have grown uh, within the within the last um, uh, you know three or four months. Um, the uh, state of emergency renewal is retroactive. Um, the Commonwealth state of emergency has always been in effect, as has the Board of Health, but this is just a sort of a measure to sort of make sure that the messaging remains consistent and that we qualify for any appropriate um, relief, uh, 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 financial relief under the, uh, as a local state of emergency. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Thank you. Thank you. And so we need to just come up with one date by which to extend this to. So, Mr. Carl? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd, I'd like to move that we um, approve the resolution extending the state of emergency um, and and where the spot has been left blank, we state that this declaration of emergency shall remain in, in effect until October 1st, 2020, unless earlier notice is given to the select board by the town manager or the select board votes to determine the state of emergency no longer exists before such date. Um, and um, I don't know if there's a second for purposes of discussion, I'll explain why. Second. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I, I know that the last time we had gone for one quarter um, before we, we reviewed it in three months, but I, I want to suggest that we just go to October 1st um, on this one, especially considering that we're going to be seeing the uh, um, Labor Day holiday, the, the summer holidays, Labor Day holiday, 
potentially kids going back to school. We've already canceled um, town day. So I think it probably makes sense for us to, to revisit it and, and uh, have the opportunity for discussion of where we are um, with the crisis um, at the end of uh, September, if we can put it on the, the uh, agenda for the last meeting in, in September, because um, I suspect we could be living in a very different world then. Hopefully. Ms. Mahan? No questions. All right, Mr. Diggins? I agree with that. I, I, I agree with Mr. Kuro. You know, I certainly was gonna argue for earlier, I mean, so I'm, I'm totally fine with October 1st as the extension date, or the date to which we extend, extend the state of emergency. Thank you. All right, and Mr. DeCorsi? Uh, no questions. All right, and I was gonna say September 30th, so I guess I can push it one more day to August 1st. All okay. right, so an motion by Mr. Carl, seconded by Ms. Mahan to adopt the renewed declaration of state of emergency with the insert of October 1st, 2020 for the date in the last paragraph. Attorney Hahn. Mr. DeCourcy, I'm sorry, Ms. Yes. Ms. Mahan, Ms. Mahan, sorry. Yes. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Curo. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. Sorry, Steve is like the Alice on my screen. He's right in the middle. <laughs> I'm staring right at him. Nobody under like the age of 35 has any idea what that just meant. I was going to say, you just really dated yourself. All right. So number in the fourth item on our agenda on traffic rules and order is a vote to endorse a letter to the ZBA regarding the Oak Tree 40B application, which we have attached to the Novus agenda. Attorney Hine. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, to be brief, uh, Oak Tree is the same thing as Thorndike Place, is the same thing as Arlington Land Realty. Uh, this is basically an opportunity for the board to provide some initial public com uh, further comment on the revised submissions by um, Arlington Land Realty. Uh, working with uh, uh, Mr. DeCourcy, Mr. Hurd, as the board uh, uh, determined last time, this draft essentially encapsulates a sort of recommitment to some of the board's initial comments um, and uh, would be accompanied by your much uh, lengthier um, uh, uh, response to the uh, applicant's request for project eligibility to mass housing. Um, so if there are no questions, I, I, I'll just leave it to the board to determine if the uh, letter reflects the board's uh, sentiment. All right. And, uh, Move approval. So we have a motion for approval by Ms. Mahan. Second. Second by Mr. Carl. Mr. Nickens, any comments? I'm fine with the letter as it is. Okay, so no comments. All right. And Mr. Corsi. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the letter as well. And I want to thank Attorney Heim uh, for turning this around on, uh, on short notice to, to put before us tonight. Thank you. And I also want to thank, thank Attorney Heim for working on this over the holiday weekend. So, all right. So we have a motion to approve the letter as written and posted by Ms. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Carl, Attorney Heim. Ms. Mahan. Yes. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Curo. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. Unanimous vote. Thank you. And that takes us to new business. Um, trying to go around. Attorney Heim, any new business? No new business. Thank you. Mr. Chapdelaine? No new business. Thank you. There you go across. Mr. DeCourcy? Uh, no new business. Ms. Mahan? No new business. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Diggins? No new business for you. Thanks. And Mr. Carl? No new business. It's a record. All right. With that, I will exchange a motion to adjourn. All right. So, so we, had, we had a motion by Ms. Mahan. Is that a second, Ms. Diggins? Yes, a second. Yep. All right. So a motion to adjourn by Ms. Mahan, second by Mr. Diggins, Attorney Hein. Ms. Mahan. Yes. 
Mr. DeCourcy? Yes. Mr. Diggins? Yes. Mr. Kuro? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. All right. Thank you all. Thanks, everyone. Yes, Hi. and the record uh, long meeting, almost a record short meeting. So long. My right. Not a bad average. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everybody. All right, thank you.